Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Mass Builder. It is a mech building j j kind of JRPG? It's okay. It's a very anime mech builder, and you'll see why I say very anime uh, shortly, but it's a third person shooter where you make your own mechs and fight weird kind of creatures. I, I don't entirely know what they're supposed to be. I think they're supposed to be aliens, but I've forgotten. I haven't played this game in a couple of years, and I've been waiting for the 1.0 to cover it. Uh, but I got tired of waiting, so we're gonna dive in, make some mechs, and run around, and then I'll come back for a 1.0 later. A future in which humanity, humans lived in a prosperous century and technology advancing beyond space and time. That was what humanity should have been if not for the sudden appearance of unknown beasts of the void. Ah, kind of aliens. A large portion of humanity were gone in the moment. War for the survival of humanity broke off all over the world, and the rest of the lore is gone. Doesn't matter. Opening sequence is still a placeholder. Yeah, we're just gonna play play this for a little while, uh, courtesy of Little Eclipse, who was kind enough to sponsor this video like last year, and I have been um, <laughs> a bit disorganized. So I'm finally getting around to some of these things. Chapter 1, Uprising. This is the beginning of your fight against the threat against humanity. I really love their hard surface modeling. It looks sick. You arrived at a building quite small by the standards of the PMC company headquarters, or PMC headquarters, private military company. Sorry, I've been playing too much, or playing, watching too much Metal Gear Solid. Anyway, headquarters you've seen in other shelters, but this is where you'll be for your, f oh wait, where you will be for the future. It's your own PMC that your friend proposed you create with their funding, a proposal you can never decline. At least that's what you wanted. Taking a step inside, you navigated through the small hallways into a large room. A woman was waiting for you with her determined smile. Damn! Hello, Commander. Welcome back. Looks like... Actually, no, her design is better than it used to be. It's still damn, but uh, it's not as ridiculous as it was when I played it a little while ago. They must have done an art style shift. Uh, let's see. Looks like nothing when we started the construction, right? Can't believe El Elenier paid for all of these advanced techs. How's the trip back to back here from Shelter 1? Well, you're standing here. You're standing here should mean nothing went wrong, fortunately. Sorry, I... It's early in the morning for me, and I'm, my ability to read is usually the last thing that wakes up. As you can see, almost everything is 100% operational and ready for deployment, even the catapult. What's left is testing our new mass. Oh, another thing that we need to do is think of a good name for our private military company. Well, it's a requirement that I need to turn in the documents for the founding of this PMC to the WDF. Please tell me you did not forget to think of one. I've been postponing it for a while now. What do we name our company? Well, the last time I played this, I called it the Opi Defense Corps, but I think I'm a little less juvenile for that. Well, fine. Let's just go with uh, Celestial Being. Why not? Might as well reference uh, probably my favorite season of Gundam. I need to watch some more Gundam. I, I like Celestial Being a fair... Uh, I like Double Zero a fair bit. It was a little bit more on the anime side and a little bit more like fantastical, but I don't know. I liked it. Celestial being, huh, has a nice ring to it. Okay, I'll be scanning all these documents for the WDF. They've been hounding me for a while now. For now, please follow me to the mission briefing room. Quinn is doing the final tuning on your control system. She wanted you for a final test. Raina said that as she moved towards the briefing room. That's where she set up her office in this small building. Small building. All right. Uh, yeah, I kind of like celestial being as a name. So, frames. So I can rename it, move left, right. Okay, so this is just uh, which mech it selects. Oh, that's gonna take a smidge. Can I change anything? I should be able to customize this at least a little bit. Accessories part. Uh, let's see, model. Oh gosh, hold up. Can I like change these? Roll, reset. Align, accessories part, assemble, paint. Okay, it's the face. Adjust, align, copy, rotation, access, offset, scale. No, it doesn't seem like any of this works. Just take a look at the top. Accessories part, armor. Ah, here we go. Okay, so if we go back to this, armor, vanguard, face. We can, we can switch it up a bunch if we want to have a different looking mecha. I'm digging some of these, and a lot of these I'm going to have to make myself. Uh, but I should be able to just equip this one, yeah? Cool. Alright, cool. I'm going to mess with my mech for a bit. I gotta look swank. <laughs> ah. 
Ow. <laughs> That's a little bright. Who put the lamps on top of this one? Okay, I think it's perfect. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't exactly know what my plan is from my bullet launcher, but you can apparently adjust it and increase the scale. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so. <laughs> Movie gun. <laughs> oh, where else can I attach these? Backpack, hip, lower legs. I kind of like it on the lower legs. Like just, just weird leg guns. The chest guns are nothing short of really funny to me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, interesting. Shoulders. I could actually hear. So I could kind of move them in and line them up a little bit with the shoulder pads. You know, this this might actually be a little bit more viable than I thought. Uh, let's see. Roll. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to bring them back in the red axis a little bit. They're going to clip no matter what, but it at least it looks like somewhat viable. There we go. Cool. That actually looks much nicer. I'm going to go back. Where's my where's my backpack? Uh, was it? Oh, right. I should probably save that. Where's, where's my backpack? Is it this one? No, that's that's chest plate. Here it is. Backpack. I'm actually going to switch this back to something a little smaller. Uh, like, I hate this. It's chunky. This looks at least somewhat respectable, so we'll go with that. Okay, cool. So now that I've customized my mech, uh, which is, I don't know, only part of this game, we also have, like, frame set up armors. We did armors. What about weapons? What do we even have on that regard? Okay, so we've got swords. It's a lot of swords. I think eventually I get to swap these around. We can also change the grip on it, uh, you know, if I want to... Damage attribute. Okay, gotta unlock that. Sockets, one, two, accessory, model. Oh, I see. These are these are the accessory bits. Is there no way I can actually change the um I can also paint it. Oh, and you can sub element one, two, three, and four. I select style. Oh my gosh, this is a thing. I'm not going to mess with this. Bullet shooter, energy shooter, rocket launcher, energy launcher. Okay, cool. I'm just going to run away from all of this. As neat as it looks, I think I'm going to have to learn. There's also multiplayer co-op missions in development. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. And then tuning is parameters and set up mass abilities. I'm going to look at it anyway, just because curious, verse engine, OS, uh, architecture. If I remember right, this has like one hell of a talent tree kind of development uh, development upgrade thing, but maybe they've shifted it around. You leisurely followed her through a short, fall, a short hallway, reaching a room with a large monitor on one side, showing a large digital map of the world, an elevated platform with desks full of documents sit on the other side. You look around and notice a childlike person clicking away at a large panel of keys right beside a complex machine resembling a seat. It seems she's noticed your presence as her hands slowed down to a stop. She turns towards you. Hello, Commander. I've just finished tuning the new control systems. You're just in time. What's left is to test out the combat simulator before we're sure it's ready for any missions. I've input all data to simulate our mass frame already. So what you're controlling will be just like the real thing. I want to collect every kind of data, be it efficiency, speed, dur and, uh, speed durability, anything to make sure this thing works correctly, as well as your data commander. You need to get familiar with its controls. Right, I've finished scanning all of the papers for the WDF as well. I'll be your operator in this simple exercise, Commander. Commander, if you may, please take a seat in, in that pilot simulation system. Raina will be your operator, and I'll monitor everything. Okay, difficulty normal. Let's see. Will affect your gameplay through the mission and hunting ground. Interesting, I'll just stick to normal. Okay. Battle simulator? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna stop poking at the things. I love the mecha designs. And honestly, like, the character's visual style is good. All right. WSD to move. Z to reset. Camera. Jumping is a little quick. Okay, so I can... Oh, I can just fly. Okay. Left click to cycle, and I've also got damage bits, which are kind of nice. I wonder if I can actually upgrade those. Oh. 
snap. I'm going to have to drastically increase this uh, sensitivity. That's too much. Okay, there we go. That's at least a little bit better. Okay, digging this booster. Okay, select mid-range weapon. Two and three. There we go. We have bullet shooter and then we have energy shooter. I see. What is the difference between the two? Oh. Yeah, there is actually a difference. Untitled and untitled. I'll have to name them at some point, though. I kind of wish they had default names to work with. Okay, final part of the training. Everything I have to just destroy. Cool. So it seems like we just kind of auto-aim on whatever the target is, and I don't really need... Uh, I don't really need to aim myself. That makes sense. It's probably meant to use a controller. Kind of? This guy is awful aim, though. Maybe I'm not actually using the lock-on correctly. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, those shoulder rockets actually look really nice. Alright. I'm just gonna skip to the results I don't think I need. Post-brief. New record! Hooray! I'll get some money to buy some new dongle... dongly bits, if I really care. I don't. I was a commander. Our control system's in the mass frame. It's good, right? Keen modified it herself. I can't wait to see it used in the real thing. Huh, test results came out pretty good. But now I'll need to adjust them accordingly and transfer all data into the system we got. Well, I'll continue with my work. Thank you for your co cooperation, both of you. Oh, right, Commander. I'll head to my room first, but you should come and visit it. I'd like your input on the development directions we're taking. Also, Waltz and Uncle Kale came to check on the final test. Said you should check something out with them as well, so don't forget to visit them. Okay, so development. Ah. You walked into the same small room you did a few hours ago. Keen is moving her hands nonstop, even faster than before. You caught her smiling a bit, but noticed... But... A bit, but noticing you came around, her face turned stoic, as it always had. Is she trying to hide her excitement? Welcome, in welcome, Commander. As you have been listening to my request, I personally think we could improve in some parts. I already know this, but I can help you develop new technologies for your masks here in this place. New technologies will help improve a mass performance, as well as help you in your missions. There are three types of technologies. Engines, OS, and Architects. Each has their own benefits and focuses on an aspect of combat you like. But I'd suggest you try to get them all developed together so we can be prepared for any situation. After I finish, their plans will be given to our engineers, they'll make it for you, and you can have Uncle Kale help you tune your mass at any time. Brought up the development tree for you here. Take a look at any of the nodes and see if they interest you. Okay, so is this the same that it was, or is it better now? Uh, largely the same, yeah, because it's just three different types of engines, kind of different engines. Oh, I see. Engine weapon, OS, and architect. And yeah, if you notice, it's pretty much just a linear tree, like level 4, level 5, level 6. And they've got like a different name, but otherwise it's just whatever this, uh, their associated stats are. So, engine, OS. So, OS is module slots and overall stats. Engine. Gets us some other things. We don't have enough resources for most. Because we already have the first engine and the rest of these we need... We need things for. Yeah, insufficient resources to develop the node. So it's kind of not really worth thinking about at the moment. Later on, maybe. Combat frame, support frame, boost frame, strength frame. And then these over here, enemy observer unit. Ah. And then weapon stance controls, but can't do anything with it. Got the money, not the supplies. As you enter a large room near the hangar, you are greeted with a smell of fumes and paint. This is where your armorer picks up his office. Or picks his office? Sorry. It's like... Mostly fine. The translation is mostly fine, but it's just a little wonky here and there, and it's throwing my dyslexia off super bad. With all the differing designs and medical... Bleh, designs of metal and chemical works lying around, a young man yelling something happily to himself turns towards you, smiling. Yo, Commander, did you have fun with that simulator? I'd condolia make the simulated mask look and work exactly like this one. Well, after that, though, did you like the designs of it? The standard mask we've got you, got for you. If you don't, you can always come and tell us armorers here about it, and we'll refit the mask to your liking. 
That's all for me. Please do not hesitate to come here and ask us to refit the mass. Well, I've already done it. I can te technically mess with it some more. I think it can actually make it small. But, eh. You arrived into a large space, gaving, gazing up on the large mass in front of you. You heard a loud footstep behind you, but before you could turn, a large hand is already smacked onto your back. Not for your protective gears. That should hurt a lot. Oi, lad! If you goes out there and perform like you did in the simulator, we'll have it easy without the need to repairs. Alright. An old man's ramp rampants are over. Okay, no, the translation's gotten kind of skewy. What I wanted to talk to you about was the performances. You see, we engineers here are the are here in the base can help you tune up the mass, provided you have the technologies for us. I can help you redirect power management or install new controllers into the system. Up to your likings. Remember though, that each piece of hardware can only be tuned up to up a certain way and we can't have everything. In regards to how tuning works, we engineers classify each development branch into main units and subunits. Each main unit provides slots where we can put subunits. For engines and operating systems, we can slot in subunits of different levels together. Ar architect architectures and techs are different are a different beast though. Techs will provide special abilities to your mass unit, but only ones with the highest level will work in the subunits have or if the subunits have similar abilities. Unless the manual says they can work together or stack. Just come ask me if you want to tune it. Wait. Just come ask me if you want to tune it up some way. All right, lad? Okay. So we have gear, but we have no gear. Yeah, we have nothing else. Provides three module slots. Oh, wait. Did I? No, I didn't remove anything. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter. I wish they kind of introduced this stuff later on, once I actually can do something with it. Or, you know, if they gave me a couple examples to play with. Because it's like, hey, go check out this. Oh, never mind, you can't do anything with it. And it's like, eh. Yes, sir. All right, I'll call the commander immediately. Ah, you came at a good time, commander. Well, a mission it is. Right after we sent in our name. I guess they had something around the area waiting. I'll get images running on the main monitor so they can brief us on the objectives of the mission. Hello, Agent Kunai. Sorry for the wait. Our commander is ready. You can start the briefing. Okay, thank you very much, Reina. And hello there, Commander of the Celestial Being. I'm Kenta Murakami, agent of the WDF. Call name Kunai. Commander, why are you laughing? This is a formal conversation. We need to do everything by the rules. Can't skip the, skip the introductions, Commander. Just like you always were, aren't you? You're a commander now. You need to abide by the rules. Kunai showed you the slightest smile you could see. He's a stern guy that helped train you when you're learning the ropes to be a pilot. You always thought he's an unsociable person, but he's actually just too serious in the in his works. That smile is something you don't see often from a guy like Kunai. Back to the missions. We have reports that one of the main signal broadcasting stations in the North Pacific Union has malfunctioned. The station is located in the inner areas of Ismoil Canyon. It's, I, it's reported a few days ago, and we just don't have someone available in the area until now. Ismoil Canyon, that place is... Sounds familiar, right? It's an old abandoned bunker from the old days. There's no human living in the vicinity, but we can still use it as a signal broadcasting station until today. The WDF had plans to send in a maintenance team down there to fix it, but we need to be sure it's safe to do so. And that's the gist of the mission? Correct. We'd like you to destroy any quarks in the area so we can send in our maintenance team. From the looks of it, there will be quite a few as we've detected a spike in void energy before the signal was cut off. Okay, that's all the briefing of this mission. You can start the operation as soon as you're ready. We'll wait for your reports. Be careful, and good luck to you. Thank you very much, Agent Kunai. We'll report it as soon as possible. Briefing over. Sounds simple enough, Commander. I think Keen is almost finished with her final setup, so whenever you're ready, we can take on the mission. We'll look at the pilot seat located in the middle of the briefing room. This is the moment of truth. This is your first official mission for your PMC. Taking a seat in the system will link you to your mass. It will be launched in the battlefield as the first step towards helping humanity. All right. Start mission, start mission. Oh, I like the style. I don't know about the plot so far. I'm really proud of those missile launchers on the shoulders. I lined them up just right. But yeah, somebody wanted to make, uh, make, <laughs> I, as far as this game goes, I think somebody watched maybe a little bit too much Gundam and made a couple too many Gunpla. And I honestly can't say that's really a problem. Okay. I don't know how to fire my rockets yet, so we'll work on that. Okay. And yeah, if I sound just a little stuffy, it's because allergies are going nuts this week. 
Okay. Now I have to actually click to shoot. Yeah, I wonder if I can actually upgrade my accuracy here. Oh, cool. I should probably not be in the midst of that. Okay. Oh, is that how I lock on? I think I I think I needed to press R. Yeah. So that's why I wasn't aiming earlier. We were, we were just using just auto lock, which wasn't doing me much good. Well, I can just totally coward coward's way out. I'm out of energy. Whoops. Okay. We'll just switch back to my rifle instead and then just continuously grab things. Excuse me. Rude? Or am I still out of juice? I don't know. I'm glad that their attacks are extremely telegraphed. It makes it really easy to dodge. Okay, investigate F. Out of range. Really? The next tower should be beyond the canyon. Okay, I want to check options. Not restart mission. Okay, here we go. Booster. Was there a lock on? I'm pretty sure there was. Quantum break mode. Well, that's probably something for later. Lock and unlock target is F. Ah, that's what it was. And then aiming mode is right. Got it. What was the other thing? I wanted to turn on V-Sync. Because I'm currently getting just a smidge of... Ah. Just a smidge of uh, screen tearing. Not too much, but it's there. Okay, switch back to this. There we go. Now we're actually properly locked on. That should help my accuracy. There's also aiming mode, but honestly, probably more useful if I'm using a sniper rifle. There we go. Luckily, the age-old circle strafe strat never fails. Oh, out of ammo again. Okay, so this gun actually has some explosives. It's certainly stun stun locking like the whole group, which is appreciated. And yeah, I'm gonna have to worry about ammo at some point. There we go. Now we're proper locked. I'm. Oh, you know what I should have done? I'm gonna quick check. What about if I go back to controller, melee attack, booster, range attack, bullet energy, gun reload, quantum break, melee special attack, left alt? Weird. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna switch it to, it doesn't like that. Okay, never mind. I guess it will have to be left alt. How do I fire my rocket launcher? Bullet launcher, energy shooter. Ener oh wait. Bullet launcher, energy launcher. So maybe I do actually have access to those. Nope. Okay. What is left alt with my sword? The answer is nothing, apparently. I'm a little disappointed. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to, uh... I don't know, fire some missiles here. I do have them... Well... Do I actually have any anything equipped? Or is it one of those where... Uh, let's see. Yeah, do I actually have rocket launchers equipped or is it just showing that I have them? I don't know. Okay. I, I have to say I like it. It's a little zippy and the enemies are a little beefy. Uh, that I'd almost rather have more enemies with less HP than this. But that might just be, you know, me from the perspective of somebody that really freaking liked Dynasty Warriors when he was a kid. And still does, to some degree. I gotta go back and finish the Fire, Fire Emblem Three Hopes. I only did, like, most of it, and then I kind of burnt out. I guess I went on vacation is the real answer. Okay, so here's the problem. I'm a little low on ammo. So I need to kill the shit out of this thing relatively quickly, otherwise I'm actually just going to have to use my sword. Okay. Well.
That's fine. Let's wait until we're actually locked in. Okay, looks like we've stunned him. It's a good time for sword. Okay, do I get my shields back? You know, I actually do not know. Hopefully I don't have to get through this entire health bar because I do not have the am ammunition for this. Okay, I do get my shields back. Okay. I'm just going to have to rely on my shields carrying me here. He got big? We got lasery. Okay, and I want all the juice. Oh, boy. Okay, and he was icy. I mean, to damage. Looks like we got a lot of parts, but that might be part research. Also, it looks like we're burning his shields much faster now. Okay. That's my ammunition. There. Oh! E! E! E for missiles. Okay. Smack a couple of these guys. Get out of my way. Okay, let's turn that off for a hot second. If I'm not being targeted, I might as well actually take out the goons while we're here. I don't actually know if they're going to give me ammunition. But yeah, if I'm not actually locked onto the boss, I can kind of see what he's up to. Oh, that's interesting. Well, he's currently, I think, immune to damage. Okay. Just get him with some missiles. Never mind. I swear I've targeted his, like, main body before. I have no idea. I mean, it's not like this thing is actually going to be able to hurt me too much. Oh, was I not locked on? I don't think I was actually proper locked on. Well, that's unfortunate. Seems like I'm... Ooh. Eh, it's fine. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah, there we go. Well, that was kind of fun. I like being a giant honking mech, but then I still have to fight bigger honking mechs or foes or whatever. Mission like, Damon X Machina made a lot of mistakes, but there were some good ideas behind that game. There's also a lot of really bad ones. Alright. We don't need to stick around for 30 seconds. That's silly. And we get some money. And also looks like we got a lot of tech. So it looks like we have to find pieces of the tech and when it hits 100% then we can start getting it ourselves. Neat. Moving your hands around for more than a few minutes, you finally finish setting up your mass frame to return to base on autopilot. It would take at most a few hours to reach where you are from the mission area. Welcome back, Commander. You did great out there. Everyone at the base was excited with your first mission. Uncle Kale is very relieved to see it went well. Would you mind meeting with him for now? Tuning. Oi, lad. So you're in good condition after that first mission. After, uh, as a veteran, it's always good to see a pilot doing fine. In the old days, when we still needed to get out there and risk getting injured with all the void particles, I'd wear a protective suit and have, have you run by the doctors before anything already. Those things itch a lot, I tell you. You remembered Kale telling you before he joined the company that he was once a very esteemed frontier engineer and that was working alongside the mechs. 
with pilots inside them. He sometimes jokingly said that they had to remove pilots crippled from void particles from their mechs. Now it's all long range controls. We were only able to invent invent all of these earlier. More of the pilots would have survived. I like how our character is just like, yeah, that's a joke, right? And he's like, no. In your history lessons, you once saw footage of large construction machineries defending a building against quarks. It said the old men and women piloting the pilot these things to stall for time. And the only thing they can be recovered with Wait, recovered were these machineries. To be cleaned and rebuilt. Yeah, like I said, translation has gone from halfway decent to pure, pure machine translation. It's a bit messy. I can assume you're perfectly fine. I was afraid your feedback transmission system will hurt you. But seeing as this thing stand tall with mi just minor damages, yeah, I was too worried about you, lad. Maybe it was because of Quindola's, uh, Quindolia's handiwork. Uh, you may be right. That grandchild of mine was a genius, was a genius after all. Haha. -ha. But you know, being a person of my age, I don't want youngins like her working this hard. She should have a more entertaining childhood. And that means you as well, Commander. If I ever see you work too hard, I'll smack some sense into you and have Reyna lock you up in the treatment room. Oh, sorry about my rants. I just want to see you in the flesh after my first, after the first mission. Seems my worries were for nothing. You looked as healthy as ever. It felt good to come out of retirement to this. Thanks, lad. Now I'll need to continue my work. Seeing you guys like this, I'll need to train better engineers so we'll work better. Ha <laughs> ha! As quickly as the old man came for you, he vanished into the crowd of engineers cheering. He smiled. This is what a successful mission feels like, eh? Alright, and I don't think we have anything that we can equip yet. Because I think we need to develop it. Probably. It's been a few days now since your last mission. You've been thinking a lot on Kale's words last time, and now that you've got some time without any missions, it's working hard on getting things better on, on grounds. What? What? With the last mission showing how things can turn out and what your preferred style are, your crew members are adjusting themselves to your needs without fail. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, I'm just gonna start skipping all of this. Like, I like the idea of the story, but the translation is throwing me off, and I don't know how much of it is just me uh, not being fully awake yet. Uh, let's see, do we want to grab this? Uh, let's see, acceleration, fuel capacity. Oh. Well, this increases our power, so yeah, let's research the, the engine at the very least. Let's see. Microchip, magazine capacity. Uh, magazine load, energy capacity, fuel capacity, armor and power versus just raw power. I'm just going to be pure raw dangage. Can I get this one? No. What else can we get? Fuel burn rate, magazine reload, energy recharge, shield recovery rate. Oh, those are active effects. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to kind of snag whatever. Okay, fuel burn rate, fuel recharge. So that might actually be worth it. Now, do I have to... Well, I don't have enough resources, so I might not actually have to get all the prerequisites to fill that out. If so, that'd be nice. Okay, so what else do we have? Combat frame, uh, which is a ton of damage. Support frame. More, spa more space to carry supplies for other troopers. More power, lighter, so higher speed, or more defensive powers. Honestly, though, I think I'm going to want to work on, uh, let's see. Oh, display, en or display enemies damage property weakness. Increase mission rewards by 15%. Let's snag that. And then the rest of these are not possible. Okay, and we can also get the combat frame. Can I get this? Tempo Preserver. On hitting an enemy with a close combat weapon, gain... Oh. Okay. Chance to get materials extra. Long range... Ooh. Actually, some of these are really good. Uh, what was I... What was I even talking about? Skipping the story? I'll... Pay more attention to the story, I think, when the game is done-done, but currently, since it's kind of, um... 
it's kind of scuffed. I'm just going to skip the story and play the game because the gameplay is solid and doesn't need to be disregarded that much. Gosh, the English is getting to my brain. Um... I don't need to care... Well, okay, because the gameplay is solid, I don't need to skip past it at the very least. So I decided to play around with some of the customization again to see if I got any new parts, and, uh... <laughs> apparently you can just be, uh... incandescent. You can also be like camo. Uh, eh, eh. I mean, I think some of these elements actually look cool, but... <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do with that? Well, I didn't mean to spend, like, the last 20 minutes building this thing, but, uh, it looks pretty good. I really like all that extra gloss, and it's kind of nice to get, uh, you know, some water bot colors up in here. I can mess with it a little bit more, make make the blue maybe a little bit darker, but I think this is fine. I almost feel like these people need to have, like, a 3D printing service for, like, hey, you want to print your mech? As, like, a gunpla? Oh, god, that'd be so nice. That'd be so cool. Alas, I don't think that's, uh, super viable. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to check. Do we actually- yeah, we do. We do actually have some tech here. So we also have combat frame. Reduces my- okay, so we have the combat frame and the support frame. Support frame has better fuel recharge and ammo. But power is lower. Where- oh boy. No, combat frame. And we have Tempo Preserver. On hitting an enemy with a close combat weapon, 7% physical attack, 12% defense for 2.5 seconds, piercing plasma attack for 5 seconds, enemy observer, and stack with other attacks of the same effect, chance to get materials plus 10%, better long range conservation. I don't... I, I'm gonna go with both of those. I don't know how much I'm going to be doing, um, shooting. Or, sorry, melee. So this hurts my shield, but boosts my accuracy and piercing and plasma by a bunch. So we'll snag it and just grab fuel save. Okay, an engine versus... Well, we're going all in on melee, I guess. Power's up, boys. Uh, eventually I'll fine-tune this thing a little bit more, but I'm happy kind of with what I've got. I don't think we can switch our weapons yet. Or maybe we can. Paint select style. Can I just... Oh, it reset it. Dang. Because I don't necessarily want to paint these things. What I want to do is actually pick my gun. Weapon attachment unequipped. If I do space... Oh. Yeah, but bullet shooter one. How do I... How do I swap guns? Help? Weapon overview. So I can customize it. Wait, where's equip? Oh, there. Equip rename paint. Weapon build? Or, oh. Is there just no, no functional difference between these? It's just... Maybe some mods and some other stuff? Or maybe... No, 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 no. There's select combat stance. So maybe I can actually make a different melee weapon. Let's, um... Let's make this thing. Combat stance. Tech. Do not have the tech to dual wield weapons currently. Ah, so we need architect nodes for that. Okay, so sockets. Uh, paint or assemble. So assaulter or short metal blade or custom bracer, bracer, combat lance, short combat lance, and then a bunch of other things that aren't available. Let's try a lance. Uh, let's see. So these are accessory accessories. We don't care too much about those. Assemble paint decals, but I don't care too much about decals. I do care about paint a lot, but eh. Okay, so I might as well walk you guys through how painting even works. So for this, you effectively just get to choose between all of the different color patterns. So if I want to do cyan radiance, it's a bit bright. But that's fine. So you effectively select your, your color sections and then do select styles. So if I want these to be copper, there we go. And then this last bit here, uh, let's see, select style. We have like a good dark blue. I was kind of hoping my color palettes would carry over from the mecha section, but I guess it didn't. Dark blue metal, dark blue gloss. The problem is it's a little saturated. Uh, if I copy this style, ah. 
Uh, let's see. Dark blue gloss, two. Custom style, two. Transfer. And then I can go into... I can close this. Select style. So custom style, two. Edit style. I'm going to make it less saturated. And a little bit less like pure blue. There we go. So now we vaguely have kind of a Wanderbot color. Um, I'll have to go back to this socket. It looks like we get other sockets later that we can play around with, but first, what about grips? I can have like a punching lance, but I might want to go for like dual guard polearm or combat. Ooh, combat polearm. So these actually change it a little bit. Battle fist combat knuckle. Unfortunately, I can't dual wield, but I like the idea of dual wielding spears. We're gonna go with a combat polearm. Requires both hands, obviously. Uh, let's see. Unless, what if I what if I do battle fist? And can I do? Yeah, so we can't dual wield yet. But eventually, I like the idea of just having lances strapped to my hands. That sounds really funny to me. And if we go back to paint, I believe I can kind of mess with some of these things. So select like style. Uh, let's see. We did cyan radiance earlier, and honestly, I think it, I think it looked fine. Actually, let's copy cyan radiance. Do custom style three. Okay, and instead of cyan radiance, there, copper. Okay, so now we've got all three of our Wanderbot colors vaguely in the same place. Uh, let's see. Select style for this. It's a little bright. I, I, I apologize, but I don't apologize that much. Okay, select style. I mean, you guys more or less get it. I just, I don't know. I found this to actually be kind of a neat customization system. So that's how you make weapons. There are no other mo weapon types. There might be uh, weapon attachments. No. Interesting. Well, this is going to be... I don't know. Poke a lope. Go with that. So does that mean I can switch my guns around too? I hope so. Yeah, we don't have uh, damage attributes yet. So I'm just going to go back to this gun and see what I can switch. So we have the bullet trigger and the machine trigger. And then barrel wise, one shot, auto and motion. So we could do a Gatling gun if we wanted to. Eh, might, might as well. And we can copy and paste the weapon, 100% manual reload. I, I want to go back and take a look at bullet trigger for a hot second. So this is two handed versus one handed. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. And I could mess with the coloration later, but I don't care that much. So what else do we have? Energy trigger, combat trigger. Energy capacity, 100% auto reload. Okay. Or auto regenerate. So I guess energy weapons never run out. And we've already got that equipped. What about my missile launcher? Bullet pod. We do have the Sentinel Cluster Pod. Which I can build. I don't know what it does. But I'm gonna grab it. Piercing, auto reload. Yeah, I don't know. And then we also have these generators. But we could also make the Falcon unit. Doesn't seem like there's anything else. Oh, I see. We'll snag it. And, oh, it, uh, it does actually have a different thing. Energy pod versus photon. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see what they got. Some of these have got to be interesting. Okay, auto, re auto regenerate, functionality, photon two. I, I don't know. Let's see, is that an underside thing? Yeah. Snag those two, select style, please. No, it's got its own custom style. 
Uh, shared color palettes would be so nice on, on this kind of thing. Let's just do silver and copper. At least it's kind of easy, easy to get back to some of these, but yeah, I was really hoping I could have a specific color palette. Well, you know what? Let's just grab all of these, make them copper, and then switch them away from here. And then three, select style, all the way down to cyan radiance. Yeah, so I'm not going to do too much customization at this point, but at least we've switched our energy launcher around. I don't know what that does. I don't know what half of this stuff does, but at least we've done some customization now. And I look freaking swank. Let's dive into a mission. All right. And like I said, I'm going to skip the dialogue just because translation's a little poor. And also I'm losing my voice and voice acting is making it a little harder. I might look into the story when it actually like the game comes out officially, but right now it's mostly just play game, shoot things. Uh, oh, those shoulder cannons got bigger. I'll have to recolor them so they actually match the rest of me, but honestly, just gray gun metal is not the worst. But yeah, I want to see what the alternate weapons look like. Now that I understand a little bit more. No! Where's my spear? Abort mission. Abort mission. Okay, so I just went back and recolored everything. Turns out you actually have two melee weapons equipped. I had no idea. Well. Time to actually play the game. I also got like a combat bracer, which I think is supposed to be a knuckle. But I turned it into a hammer because I can't dual wield. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, and then we have our lance. Sick. You know, I was expecting I'd be doing more stabbing with this thing, but honestly, whatever. I appreciate the range. Okay, let's try our energy gun. Yeah, that's uh... That's some good shit right there. Okay, so it does look like we run out of energy weapon ammo. I'm pretty sure it just kind of auto comes back, yeah? Yeah, okay. So it seems like my best... Oh, bleh. Okay. It seems like my best possible option here for the most part is use melee up until boss time, then just dump guns. Oh, that's what fuel is. Okay, we're trying to protect these. Yeah, I might as well use my launcher ammo. Oh, the fusion cell has plenty of chunk to it. And yeah, the spear completely just shuts them down. Oh, they're weak to lightning. Wait, am I use light using lightning? I have no idea. Well, I'm certainly digging this. I mean, it looks... It looks solid. It looks really solid. Just in terms of, like, the hard surface modeling and gloss and paint and whatever. Like, 50% of this game very much is just making your own mecha. I don't know too much about the actual, like, gameplay gameplay long term of this, but, like, it's kind of nice to make my own mech. And it's also kind of nice that uh, I'm not just flying all the time. It's a little bit more grounded. Har. Okay. I see the flyers. Is that what I'm supposed to be afraid of? I think so. Okay, I'm just gonna keep bullying these guys. At least for the moment. No, it's just a new enemy type. Uh, 
Okay. And I'm sure... I'm sure I could just get by... There you are. Let's see. I'm, I'm sure I could tank more of these hits, but I might as well just dodge them anyway. Alright, where are we going now? Nope, that's an obstruction. Oh, that was it. That was the end of the mission. I was kind of hoping we'd fight another biggin. But... I guess that's too easy. Fusion cells in the s snow. Cool, what else do we get? Revwing unit, custom combat axe. Ooh. Blast barrel, wide pack launcher, and a bunch of resources that I can use to unlock more stuff. Neat. All right, well, I will admit, ah, no, we should probably do one more mission. I've only done two plus the tutorial and that's not great. Okay, visit him in the armory, cool. Okay, so he just wants us to do a job. We do not want to customize. Though it could, like, amusingly enough... Uh, oh, that's just my bullet launchers. But remember, it, I can go into this and, like, mess with my joints. Ooh, actually... That's, that's really cool. You can kind of extend those and it actually, like... You know, this one isn't great just because uh, it's just extending on that one joint and it doesn't look cool. But this, for example, uh, we can show a little bit more of that glow. Hell yeah. Hip. Wide. No. Shoulders? Nah. Body? Nah. Neck? Nah. Okay. I like the lower arms and the lower legs, though. That gives us a little bit more of those glow points. And we can... Oh! Oh, we can... You can paint the inner skeleton. Honestly, I'm just gonna leave it as the gray. I could do more with that. I didn't know I could could do that. Appreciate it. Okay, mission. What are we doing? Like I said, I'll care at some point, probably when the game actually officially comes out. I think what I'm probably going to do with this, uh, maybe? Eh, no. No, definitely. I think I'll be back to this one when it's actually, uh, in 1.0 with co-op. Because I think, uh, playing this co-op with shell would make it a little bit more fun and I think the two of us uh, could really get into you know each having our own mechs and flying around doing missions story stuff and then also having her to voice act half of the characters for me would be lovely Okay. Well, I certainly dig the hammer. I mean, the melee weapon in general seems pretty fun. I think once we get dual wielding... I'd play with some of the other abilities. I think I'm gonna stick, stick to the lance. The hammer has kind of a nice schmack to it. But that's about it. And maybe I should actually just use my guns. Oh yeah, that's fun. I think I liked the energy gun a little bit more, but this has, oddly enough, more pinpoint accuracy. It might also just be what I've specifically got equipped. I guess, wow, I just kind of locked them down for a while there. Now, it doesn't look like these suckers are at all vulnerable to uh, the EMP. So, no electricity there. That's fine. Okay, you. Let's actually defuse it this time. That was kind of inconvenient, the first couple. But we're fine. We haven't taken any damage, and everything else is good. And it doesn't look like there's anything else here, I think. Okay, one more. Which I'm probably just going to have to zoop around until it pops up. Yep, there it is. Now, EMP m mines don't exactly... Well, I mean... I guess that one actually looks like it can just recharge, but still. 
Now, are there more mines, or is it just these? Or is it just fight enemies? Big enemy? Ooh! We got three heads! Oh, not a big enemy, just a new enemy. But it's a neat looking new enemy. Kind of stunlocked them for a smidge. Ooh, no, you can even stunlock the Cerberuses. Well, that's appreciated. And yeah, I'll have to get my hands on some uh, some lightning weapons at some point because these guys seem to be genuinely weak to them across the board. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Well, whatever. Anything else? Yes. Kind of hoping I could defuse it before it goes off, but alas. Okay, I have to find four of them here. Well. It's easy enough. Drive around. At some point, something's going to pop up and be like, oh, there we go. Then go back and fix it. I really like the combat for this game. Maybe I'll care about the plot at some point, but right now it's mostly just kind of make fun mech, fly around, do missions. I wonder how expansive the story is for this one, because this is very clearly like one of those passion project indie games that like a small studio has been working on for quite a while and has like a very passionate audience as a result. Which frankly, honest, honestly, I actually kind of love those games the most. Because they always offer something really interesting and they don't compromise for anything. Or at least they mostly don't compromise for anything. Okay. So I'm just going to motor through the dialogue and let's go for the outro. So, Mass Builder is available on Steam. It's been out for a while. It's in version 0.9, I believe. Or at least it said like work in progress. Uh, okay, so it looks like we're not on update 0 0.9. That's coming soon. Uh, like sometime this month, but I guess I preceded it by a little bit. Eh, I don't think it's that big of a deal. And really, it's only been on Steam since 2019. Huh, I thought this has been in development for a little bit longer. Maybe it has. Either way, the sheer depth and breadth of the armor customization, you know, the amount of parts that you can you can swap between here to really customize your mech to look, you know, the way you want it to, Obviously, there are some limitations, and you really do have to grind to get some of the some of the parts. But on the flip side, like, I don't know. I think it's really cool. Oh, nice. So I can actually just hot swap between all of these just to see if I've unlocked anything new. Currently, I think I've been mostly unlocking weapon bits rather than these. Uh, little customization parts, but I don't know. You never know. You might find something cool. <laughs> Swings are ludicrously large. Actually... I think I like these better. No, I like these better. And yeah, we've gotten... Have we gotten any other parts? The answer looks like mostly no. I don't know. It was worth a check. And some of these look like they get real chunky too. So if you want to have a, have a big stompy mech, you can. Though I don't think the design of your mech, like, visually affects any of their stats. So if you want to have a big chunky mech that's actually secretly like a real light ballerina, you totally can. But, with all of that said, uh, let's see, what was the other thing about this that I was going to say? Oh, right, it's 25 bucks, which I think is fine. It's very much, like I said, indie passion project, and I think it's the kind of thing that will appeal to a, a select group of people, like me, who love mechs. And there's not a whole lot else on the market right now, especially since Armor Core has largely kind of just been left in the dust in favor of Soul games. Souls games. I think they might be making a new one, finally, but eh, it's just rumors until it actually happens. So, with that said, uh, one last thank you to Little Eclipse for sponsoring this video. It was very kind of you, and sorry it took me so long to get around to it. If you guys do want to support videos like these, go through Patreon. Hopefully, once I've finished all of my, um, my backlogged impressions videos, I'll start opening it up so Patreons can suggest games again. But right now, I'm trying to finish off what I've got left over. 
But with that said, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. There we go. I can outro, kind of.